Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Mother Native Master here with um, another book review. Uh, today I'm doing a book review on Compendium of the Emerald Tablets by Billy Carson, the late, the late and great Billy Carson. I mean, if you don't know who Billy Carson is, I mean, been under a rock lately. <laughs> He's been killing the game with his knowledge, his um, his wisdom. Um, He's read, you know, thousands of books, uh, you know, uniform tablets, scriptures. Uh, you know, he's he's been to, you know, uh, holy places like Egypt or um, he's been to, you know, Yeshua, Yeshua's home. Uh, he's been to, he's been all over the world, you know, uh, South America, um, pyramids all over the place, Australia, you know, I keep going. I, I follow Billy Carson because I like, and I uh, learned from him a lot and what he brings to the table. He's a multimillionaire. And um, it really goes back, well, he's an example of something that I heard uh, Brother Plight say. And um, Brother Plight said on a Breakfast Club interview that in modern times, entrepreneurship is the path to spiritual enlightenment. And when he said that, <laughs> I thought about it. And I was like, he's damn sure right. Because in this, you know, capitalistic society that we live in today, money is a tool to obtain more time, to obtain more wisdom and knowledge. I'll say that again. Money is a tool to obtain more time, to obtain more uh, knowledge and wisdom. And that it's just that simple. It's very true. But um, you know, another one, another book review with you know, Road to Reading a Thousand Books. Uh so opinion of the Emerald Tablet. What does this book talk about? This book uh is based on the writings of the Emerald Tablets of uh Thoth, um uh the Egyptian or I should say uh Atlantis or Kemetan uh priest king. Um he ruled over Egypt for a long time. He's a member of the Anunnaki Pantheon, uh, one of the greatest um, architects, mathematicians, you know, whatever you name it, engineers of, of, uh, of all time on earth. Um, he uh, left the Emerald Tablets um, as, as sort of a guide for humanity to follow his writings. Excuse me. Um, uh, to the Sumerians, to the early Sumerians, and to the uh, early uh, Kemetans, or you know Egyptians, whatever you want to call them, he was known as um, he was known as Ningish Zida, Ningish Zida. Um, that's what he was identified as in the uh, in multiple clay tablets um, in Sumeria. Uh, he was the he was the teacher. He was one of the teachers for Zayuzadra or uh, Noah in the Bible. His name was Zayuzadra and the clay tablets as well. Um, he taught, you know, Noah. Uh, Noah actually, or Zayuzadra actually, got to uh, go and he he was the fifth leap of uh, human evolution. So if you don't know the story, uh, the Anunnaki story, a quick uh, summary is that basically Anunnaki came from, uh, supposedly came from Nibiru, which was a planet in our distant solar system. Uh, they came here to recover gold for their uh, for their atmosphere that was um, that was uh, damaged. Um, so they came here. They used Anunnaki workers to mine the gold of Earth. Uh, Anunnaki workers basically got um, tired of doing all the work, so they told uh, they told the Anunnaki pantheon basically that they didn't want to do the work. So um, at the top you have at the top of the Anunnaki the, the top leader of the Anunnaki you have a new A N U, and he symbolized with the uh, with the bull with the bull the bull head and the horns, um, and then his sons you have uh, you have Enki and Lil, and then on the daughter side of his children you have Ninma. Now, 
Enki uh, is known as Ptah in Egypt. Um, he has, uh, he, he, he's the, he's our savior. He's the main savior for real. Um, but Enki uh, is known as Ptah in Egypt. Uh, Enlil is, uh, you know, the evil one, the evil brother that's uh, trying to destroy humanity. He wants to, you know, ruin humanity. Uh, and then you got Ninma, which is a very passionate uh, young black, or not really young, but a very passionate young, uh, I keep saying young, very passionate black Anunnaki. Um, and she, uh, she's actually the half sister of uh, Enki, and they are actually married. Enki and Ninma are actually married. So the thing with the Anunnaki is they have a lot of incest going on because it's uh, it's the way that they keep the royalty and uh, the bloodline going. They actually marry uh, each, each other, like the brothers and sisters marry each other and have kids to carry on the royal lineage. Um, but that's a quick sum up of the uh, of the Anunnaki. Um, at least the top chain, uh, the top chain command that we have read so much about or that, that there's a lot of scriptures about. Um, also, uh, Enki's uh, son is Ningis Jitta, which is this guy right here, uh, Thoth. Uh, Thoth the Atlantean, uh, Hermes, you know, whatever you want to call him. He has a lot of names, but in the clay tablets, his name is Ningis Jitta, the son of Enki. And both of their symbols are, um, are uh, serpents or, you know, the snake. Um, uh, you know, Enki um, actually taught Thoth everything that he knew. Um, Enki's uh, name, which is a very famous name as well, was uh, Ptah, uh, Ptah Imhotep or Ptah Hotep. That, that was another name that Enki had. But yeah, that's just a quick summary of the Enki Pantheon. But the Emerald Tablets are those by Billy Carson. Billy Carson is a late and great, um, still great, uh, researcher and uh, scholar. He's a very famous scholar. Um, brilliant, brilliant, very famous, brilliant scholar. He puts a lot of the, puts a, a lot of the pieces to the puzzle uh, together. Um, he wrote this book to kind of compare how the uh, Bible uh, goes hand in hand with Emotal the Thoth, as if the Bible is written directly based off, or at least the New Testament Bible is written directly based off the uh, Emotal the Thoth. And if you didn't know that the Emerald Tablets of Thoth actually predate the Bible by a lot of years, a lot, lots and lots of thousands of years. So this this book um, breaks that down. On one side, you got him comparing the writings of Thoth uh, to the uh, writings of the New Testament of Jesus. Um, so that's that's what this book goes on. Billy Carson just basically gives a. Uh, gives an interpretation of the tablets, a damn good interpretation of the tablets. Uh, he talks about uh, hermeticism, which is spirituality based on the writings of Thoth, like the Emerald Tablets. Um, I mean, the Emerald Tablets has so much knowledge and wisdom in it. Uh, you know, one of the quotes I actually have hanging up is, um, uh, goes like, uh, let me one second. The, the key to the unveiling of wisdom lies in the silence of material senses. He who talks does not know. He who talks, uh, he who does not talk knows. And I mean, it's so many deep quotes in, in uh, the Emotalis that just makes you think. And it's just so much wisdom, you know. Um, I mean, the Emotalis, the writings are, are, are great. You know, I plan on going back and, and reading it again. Uh, Billy Carson also gives a lot of information about how, um, you know, he believes uh, that Thoth is, is the builder of the Great Pyramid because in the Emerald Tablets in his book, it explains how he says that he built the Great Pyramids um, for two reasons, actually. And one of them being to uh, serve as a hidden entrance to the halls of Amenti and the other reason being to um, basically... Uh, preserve like not uh, preserve knowledge and to uh like hide hide his spaceship for time unborn he said <laughs> i believe so if i didn't get that mixed up but um yeah i mean uh great 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 book uh billy carson also talks about 
um, some very uh, theoretical um, instances, like uh, he talks about Dyson spheres, which are basically devices used to encapsulate stars. Um, he talks about, you know, uh, type one all the way to type five civilizations, you know, which, you know, obviously type one is a uh, civilization who can harness some of the energy of a neighboring star. Type two civilization can harness all the energy of a neighboring star. You know, type three civilizations are masters of energy, you know. Uh, type four, you know, basically uh, can harness the uh, essence and energy of the, uh, you know, uh, of the universe. Type five are godlike beings that can manipulate the universe as they please. So uh, he, he he goes into he goes in deep about those. He talks about seven chakras. Um, this book has so much good information in it. I mean, I, I keep going on and on. He he talks about you know uh, you know uh, man, it's just so much information in my head, man. From these books, it's kind of hard to distinguish uh, which book said which. But uh, man, he 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 just he he does such a great job. I I, I will keep expressing and elaborating on how good of a book this is um and it really raises a lot of questions too you start to think about like man you know like <laughs> like is the bible really as accurate as people think it is you know is that the thing that is that the scripture that people should be following so blindly because you know all their relatives are christian or or all their relatives are muslim or you know that that's the reason that they should be following the religion. And I'm not saying that that's a problem with, you know, if that works for you, that works for you. I'm not saying that there's a problem there. Uh, it just depends on uh, how you use the information, right? If you are a follower of a religion and you aren't gaining any progress in life, you know, and that religion makes you complacent. Like for instance, you know, a lot of Christians become very, especially like, you know, black people, you know, Moors, you know, modern day Moors, modern day black people, modern day Moors, they, they, you know, get into Christianity and it makes them so complacent that you got, you know, half the, <laughs> half the black population out here waiting for, G uh, waiting for Jesus to come back. You know, <laughs> I mean, I was, I remember I was talking to, a, uh, I was talking to an older woman, a uh, black woman the other day and, um, she was asking me why why I wasn't getting the you know uh, the the shot <laughs> the, the hokey pokey is a uh, <laughs> real nagas would say but she asked me why I didn't get the shot the experimental drug from you know from from the government and uh, I basically told her you know that you know I didn't want to talk about it you know I'll keep it to myself and you know she <laughs> she advised me she was get, she, she advised me to get the shot and she was just trying so hard for me to get that shot man and i'm just looking at her just in disbelief of how much faith she has in the government man it's it's like how much faith she has in something that she knows so little if not nothing about it's like how can you how can you put put your trust into something that you don't know about you know it's like i could never do that but she, yeah, she was just, you know, it just made me kind of like, man, you know, we got our people out here just falling for anything. But, uh, yeah, I brought that up to say that she was like, you know, she still, she works, so she has a job and she's been working there for a long time as she gets older. And she was telling me about how, how her two daughters have PhDs, you know, and, you know, she just couldn't express how much God was good. Cause she's, you know, she was Christian and she was just basically saying how much God was good and how much God is giving them, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But if she knew more, she would know, she would know and understand that you don't have to wait on no outside entity, you know, God, whatever you call them, Hercules, you know, you don't have to wait on any, any of that to depend on change that will in effect cause good or cause, you know, uh, positive uh energies for you you know you, you don't have to wait on you know an entity to do that for you when you can do it and bring it to yourself you know and yeah i just brought her up because that was one of the reasons that you know made me think about that but um 
you know, this book, man, Billy Carson, you did it with this one. He, he, I mean, he has so many interviews of, he has a, uh, he has a streaming, uh, well, not streaming, but he has a TV network um, called ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. Uh, he has, it's also an app. Um, you know, I gave this book, you know, 10 out of 10. This is a very great book. Uh, I'll be reading it again uh, sometime, you know, because as I like to say that the more I read, uh, the more I read and grow to know when I go back and um, read the same book again, uh, after I've acquired more knowledge, uh, I see things in the book that I didn't see the previous time that I read it. So definitely plan on reading this again. Um, there was a saying out there uh, that that's always been, you know, going through my mind. It goes like a wise man knows he's a fool and fool thinks he knows everything. And that coincides with what I was thinking, because I was thinking it's like me reading all these books is like uh it's like the more I read and, you know, learn, the more I find out how much I don't know and how much more there is to learn, you know. It's like a rabbit hole. It's like the amount of knowledge that I think I know or that I think I have is just a needle in the haystack, you know. It's like it's just uncomparable to the knowledge that's out there to learn. So believe me when I say I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity that I get to learn about, you know, things that that uh that I don't know about. So um that's my take on Compendium of the Emerald Tablets. A great book uh based on the writings of uh the great uh Ningishida or Thoth or Hermes. Um if you're interested, I definitely recommend getting this book, uh, especially if you're uh more and uh or black, uh, melanated, you know, um if you're melanated, I definitely recommend getting this book because it's easy to read because it is a you know, melanated author, and he breaks it down so simply and so uh, conceptually easy that you know you can you can understand it uh, fast and you know uh, easily. So that's uh that's all I got. It's melanated mastery. Y'all have a great day. Um, do something positive today. Uh, you know, go go and um, spread you know happiness. Uh, keep a smile on your face. You know, keep pushing. You know, keep striving. You know. Uh, Keep your head up. Uh, it's your boy Melody and Mastery Road to reading a thousand books. We well on the way. And I'll catch y'all in the next book review.